Looks like it will be called on Bejos. That's very basic offense being shown to us right here by San Beda. Just looking for their big man inside and uh, trying to clamp down on the offense of, uh, of Ekwe. Itong uh, buong kopona ng, uh, ng Perpetual. But they've been fouling Sam Ekwe, who so far in this ball game has scored... Uh, how many points? How points about to see uh, Sam Ekwe? Three points, huh? No? Seven already. Seven points for Sam Ekwe. Now Ekwe at the line. And he splits his charities. He has a total of eight points, 17 to 13. Four point lead for the Red Lions. Males is swinging over a three ball from Kong. No. But know, even if Kong missed that shot, I really like uh, looking at the stroke of Mike Kong. Talaga like uh, stroke of a shooter. But uh, Garbo Lanete starting out this game. Para kay uh, Al Jamal. Doing his fair share in offense, six point lead para dito sa San Beda. Meos, 4 3. And a battle for the leather, it will go San Beda's ball. And of course, I'm curious by Cristobal, very anxious coach for Perpetual. It's been a really struggling season for Perpetual, although they, have made, they may have their ups throughout the whole season. Ups and downs, but more of the downs for Perpetual, but still, they'll try to leave season 83 with their chins up. You know, there were lots of games that uh, Perpetual could have won, especially that game against uh, Mapua, where they were, uh, when they were on top, and uh, the Carolina accidental, uh, accidental foul. I don't see my call. They should have won that game. That was a big, actually one of the crucial uh, games for Perpetual. In the meantime, San Beda with the possession. Oh, and Augie Menor drills the three ball. Napailing na lang ang mukha nitong si uh, Balboa because he felt he had a good defensive job. Challenging that shot of uh, Menor. And look at the uh, transition defense being shown to us by San Beda. They're now on top by seven points. So we expect to uh, San Beda na medyo mabilis ang uh, kanilang uh, pagpalit ng tao because again of the absence of their uh, main forward. And this is slow-mo brought to you by Smart, the power to lead, and that is what Ogi Minor has improved in this season, his outside shooting. Now, the white shirts will set up their offense. They're enjoying a seven-point lead so far. And Escobal looks like he will be called for an offensive foul. That's his first third-team foul on the Red Lions, and this time out being called by Coach Bai Cristobal is brought to us by Samsung. With Samsung, it's not that hard. One City after that timeout, called by Coach Bai Cristobal, and they're talking things over. Although, the Sun Beta Red Lions already a sure spot on the Final Four. And it's been Ogi Minor, of course, the Lord of the Rings. And Sam Ekwe each had double doubles in the win over JRU last Wednesday. Looking at their numbers, Alan, it's no big surprise that these two men just leading the Red Lions ahead. They're not really scoring the 20, but they're doing their share in the little things that the team really needs. Ito, balik tara na lang to rebounding na to, 12 and 21. But that uh, 12 rebounds of uh, Ogi Minor says a lot of this young man. And now, the Altas will set up their offense after that timeout. Galabin over to the middle. Inyon with the stab. No, Ekwe grabs another board, his fifth in this game. Two minutes and 25 seconds to play here in the first quarter. 22 to 15. Escobal takes the long three-pointer. It's good. It's just so full of confidence taking those jumpers. Pong Escobal, we've seen a lot of those shots here in this season. And it's now a 10-point lead here in the first quarter. Paradis San Beda. The lead has now ballooned to double digits. Galavin answers back with his own version off a three-pointer. Cuts that lead back to seven. So it's not a bad game being played by the Maroon shirts. They're just down by seven. One good stop. But you know, it's a good uh, score. And this will really go to the advantage of uh, San Beda. Now, Terona, the jumper. Terona off the bench. Doesn't really... Playing much here in season 83. You 
seen him in a couple of games, but he is a spark plug for the San Pedro Red Lions. A steal completed by Escobal. The lab been chasing him, but it's oh, all good yes. for Pong Escobal. Great finish by Pong Escobal after reading the passing lanes and getting that steal. Well, as a Mike Pong, you can't leave him open. He's just so dangerous. Great touch from this young man. 30 to 21. Nine point advantage for the San Beda Red Lions. Of course, the defending champs already assured of a seat in the semifinals and have a twice speed advantage. In the meantime, Tirona, his three pointer too strong, but there's Lenete. Nice move inside by Lenete, oh, avoiding Lenete. those defenders. Showing us some basics in basketball after getting that uh, great offensive rebound and an up and under move from a shooter, no? And again, Mike Kong missing on this one. Mike Kong indeed has a license to shoot for Coach Bayer Cristobal. At that time, he misses Lanete again. The drive, and Egwe losing it, but Tirona with the save. Great save by Tirona. And now the Red Lions have a chance to recycle their offense with under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Ball will stay with the Red Lions. 15.9 seconds left here in the first quarter. Three seconds on their shot clock. Raymond Magai checks in for Cargo Lanete. Well deserved rest for the rookie. Magatong insulses, pwede ka pa mag-dribble dito. But Escobal. Oh, hindi na, sabi ni Pong Escobal, he had an open look. Medyo malayo. Lee Sangmion having problems against Gamalinda. Reyes, four seconds on the game clock. Kicks it out. Lee Sangmion, buzzer beater, no. That would have counted. That would have counted. Oh, yes. that